Hey guys, welcome back to another Sunday haul. It is Sunday. I actually just had posted last week's video and now um, we went to Greenwich for the afternoon. We just got back. And if you've never been to Greenwich in Connecticut, I mean, if you ever come this way, you definitely have to check it out. It is such a cute town. And Greenwich Avenue, where we were, it's kind of like a mini Fifth Avenue in New York City. You have all of the really like fancy stores like Saks and Tiffany's, but you also have like a lot of regular stores. It's it's just like a shopping lover's paradise so we like to head down there every once in a while and just kind of window shop for the most part but I did go into Sephora I got a couple of things because the sale is still going on today but by the time you see this video it'll already be over so I picked up some new Patrick Ta items that I've really had my eye on I also got another shade of the Bare Minerals Gen Nude bronzer because I really love the one that I have and this is just the next deepest shade. I also splurged on the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I know this is not new and plenty of people have already tried this but I got a sample of it with a recent Sephora order and I really fell in love with the formula so I decided it's probably the best time to buy it now during the sale and I also got the Bare Minerals Original Foundation and the reason that I picked this up was actually after watching some of Shelby Wilson's videos and she uses this a lot and has said that people who like find it to look too powdery on their skin like it's that you're either using too much or you're not buffing it in enough and that it really is very creamy and really skin like if you follow those tips so um, I haven't tried this since I worked at Sephora back in I want to say like 2004 2005 it was a long time ago and I had dry skin back then as well even when I was in my 20s and I I really just did not like how this looked on me but I wanted to give it another shot just because I've heard so many great things about it and I really am enjoying the CoverGirl powder foundation that I just got so I'm kind of thinking I don't know maybe I might be okay with powders now so anyway let's go ahead and open some of this stuff up and we'll do some quick swatches all right so first let's check out the bronzer from Bare Minerals and this one is in shade Kiss of Copper so on the website it actually looks a bit darker but when I saw it in person it's actually not that dark. I have Kiss of Pink already and this one I feel like it's not any deeper than that it's just more peachy in tone while Kiss of Pink is a little bit more of like a nude pink. So uh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. It looks so pretty. I'll just put a little right here. Oh my gosh how gorgeous is that color. And it just has that little hint of sheen, just like the Kiss of Pink, which I love because it's not shimmery, but it's also not like a flat matte. It's just gorgeous. I really, really am loving this color and it feels so creamy and soft. And another thing I love about Bare Minerals is that they are talc free as well. So um, let's check out the actual Bare Minerals foundation. I think it's kind of going to be hard to swatch this, but I just want to take a look anyway. So I actually got mine in soft medium number 11. I find that another thing that sometimes makes foundations look not so great on me is if I get a shade that's too light. So lately I've been going maybe like a shade or two deeper than my skin tone. And I find that that really helps just kind of warm up my complexion a little bit. And I find that for some reason it just looks better. I don't know why. So anyway, I'm just going to pour a little bit into the cap. That's what you're supposed to do. She says to just really put like the tiniest little bit like that and start with that and then, you know, add a little bit more if you need to. So I'm just going to pick this up with my finger and I'm just going to check out the color right here. So yeah, I mean, I think this is just slightly dark for me, but I don't think it's going to be too bad, especially once I buff it in. It's a little bit yellow. I was pretty sure they said this shade was more neutral or pink, so I don't know. I'm going to have to just wear it and see what happens. Also, the Luminous Silk I got in the shade 5. The sample that I had was the shade 5.5, and it was just slightly too deep for me, so I figured I would just go like one shade down. So I'm just going to put a little swatch of this here. Yeah, this one also is a bit yellow on me, but I find that most foundations are. Um, and really, even though I do have a pink undertone, I don't like wearing pink tone foundations because I feel like they just make me look even more pink. And somehow the yellow tone tends to kind of 
color correct the pink out of my skin a little bit so I actually don't mind if something is a little bit more on the yellow side but anyway what I love about this foundation is just how skin like it looks it looks it just kind of sinks right into your skin and becomes one with it it's so incredibly seamless I always told myself like I'm not going to spend this much on a foundation because there's plenty of them at the drugstore that I like but when I tried it I was like okay I think I might need this <laughs> And then for Patrick Ta, I got the Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Bronzer Duo, and then the Major Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. So both of these I thought looked so pretty. I've seen several videos on them now, and I just figured that the sale is really the best time to try these out. So I have already played with this just a little bit. I swatched it earlier. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, the bronzer, the sorry, the contour is a cream, and that's under this little door right here and I love that they did that because then it's not going to get all the powder inside it when you're using the powder and hopefully it'll just keep it from drying out too fast so cream contour and then you have a powder bronzer that's in a bit more of a warmer shade but I love too that this isn't super cool toned it's not really gray I mean it's definitely cooler than the bronzer but I don't like when contours look overly gray because I feel like that looks kind of weird too so Here's what the cream contour looks like. By the way, this is the lightest shade called She's Statuesque. Um, I believe there are three different versions of this. So let me just swatch the powder. All right, so that's what those look like. I think these are gonna be absolutely perfect for my skin tone and the powder feels so creamy and the contour doesn't feel sticky. It feels like when you apply it, it just kind of dries right to a powder finish, which I love. And then with the blush, I got the shade Do We Know Her and this one is supposed to be kind of like a coral shade and peach. So the cream again is under this little door and it's the coral shade. And then you have this peachy blush, which I think is so pretty. And I actually saw Michelle Wong talking about these in a video a while back. And she was saying that um, these are actually meant to be worn with the cream on top of the powder. Like that's how Patrick Ta suggests that you do it. And it says it on the box as well. And I'm not really used to doing that. I don't normally put creams on top of powders. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And I'm definitely willing to try it. But um, here's what these colors look like really quick. I think these are so pretty and again they look a lot brighter actually um, in the compact than they do once they're on your skin but let me just mix the two together and we'll see what this looks like so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the cream and just put it on top of the powder and just layer them All right, so that actually looks really pretty. It just deepened it up a little bit, and I don't find that it was moving the powder around. I mean, it's kind of hard, I guess, in a swatch to really tell, but I'm definitely gonna be trying these on my skin. If you guys would like to see a video of me using some of these products, definitely let me know down below. But anyway, that is my little Sephora haul for today. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I just got my hourglass order in the mail and I picked up two of the new Vanish Blush Sticks. I haven't seen these yet at Sephora or Ulta. They, well, they're on the Sephora website, but they're showing right now as being sold out of all the colors because they haven't officially launched yet there. I'm not quite sure what the date is going to be, but if they've launched by the time this video is up, I'll link them down below. But otherwise, you could always just go to the hourglass website like I did. So anyway, I was so excited about these because the Vanish foundation stick and the Vanish highlighters are the most beautiful formula. They are just incredibly lightweight and smooth on your skin. So I was really, really excited when I saw the blush. So I got two shades, Wonder and Devoted. So let's open these up and take a quick look. All right, so they have the same triangle packaging as the foundation stick and also the highlighter. And I got one that looked more peachy and then one that looked more pink. So let's go ahead and swatch them. This one is Devoted. Wow, and these have, yeah, like that same really weightless feel to them. All right, and then this one is Wonder. Isn't this packaging so beautiful? All right, so this is the more peachy of the two. These are just absolutely stunning. I know I have a lot of cream blushes. I have a lot from the drugstore that I like, but Vanish Formula from Hourglass is just, it's on another level. It's so incredible. So let me just kind of blend these out a little bit and we'll see 
what they look like. Yeah, these feel like nothing. They're not sticky at all. They're just incredibly weightless. And they have that powdery dry down, which I really like. So yeah, I think these are going to be awesome. If you guys would like to see a try-on video or a follow-up with these, let me know for sure. Um, they also had just sent me this little mini of their Unlocked Instant Extension Mascara um, just as like a free gift. And I've tried this one in the past um, when I've gotten it from Sephora as like a little perk. And I really enjoy this formula too. So just quickly show you guys what the brush looks like. So it's just one of those cone shaped ones. So it's more tapered at the front and then wider at the base. And I feel like this gives really, really great length and volume at the same time. So anyway, guys, that's my little hourglass haul. I also just got my Target order in the mail and I had picked up some of the Jason Wu products. I already did a video on a bunch of them um, several weeks back now, maybe back in March, and I really enjoyed just about everything. So I got some lip products to try because in that video I didn't really have anything for the lips. Um, I got two of the Hot Fluff lipsticks and these are supposed to be three in one where you can use them on lips, cheeks, and eyes. So I've heard really great things about those. I also got the Bedtime Story Nighttime Lip Mask and also the Soft Balm Lip Balm. And then I also got a palette from PYT Beauty. I have one of their blushes and really, really like it. It's a talc-free brand, and I just thought that the colors in here looked kind of similar to the Huda Naughty Nudes palette, which I really, really love. So um, I wanted to try this out as well. So anyway, let's open everything up and we'll do some swatches. All right, so first up we have the Jason Wu Soft Balm. I got it in the shade number three three and it says it's a lightweight nourishing lip balm that's a hybrid of a gloss plus a salve that can be worn alone or under lipstick infused with jojoba oil argan oil hemp seed oil sunflower oil and shea butter it also has a vegan formula so here's a look at the tube and i'll just put a little bit on i'm curious about the color it feels like there's nothing in here when i squeeze it like hardly anything comes out there we go so let's take a quick look at the color. It's really, really subtle. It's supposed to be, I think this shade was called Peach. Um, so yeah, it's not really gonna give you much in the way of color, but it does feel like a really nice soft lip balm with a little bit of shine to it. Also doesn't have any scent to it either, so that's definitely a good thing. And then next we have the Bedtime Story Lip Mask. And guys, I already opened this up. <laughs> And I put a little bit on my lips and just a quick word of warning with this one. Um, I had like a weird reaction to this and I was looking on the package to see if this is supposed to be a plumping product, but I didn't really see anything. It just said an overnight lip mask formulated with shea butter, jojoba seed oil, and vitamin E to soothe and moisturize your lips while you sleep. It does have a little bit of like, um, like a minty scent to it. But oh my gosh, I put this on my lips and within a cup, it felt really nice at first. It has a really nice um, soft texture. It reminds me of the Milani lip mask that I love so much. But oh my gosh, my lips started feeling like they were swelling up and they almost felt numb, which was very strange. I've never had that happen with any lip product and I test so many. Um, it was just kind of freaking me out and I went back into the bathroom expecting to see my lips like all swelled up because that's what it felt like and they looked normal but it was the most uncomfortable feeling so I wiped it off immediately and I also like started washing my lips with water because just wiping it off didn't take the feeling away and finally it did go away and nothing bad happened but just a word of warning I'm not quite sure what the heck is in this that I'm reacting to but um, yeah, it is a vegan formula and there are a lot of like red dyes in here to make the pink color. And I know that red dyes can sometimes be like a little problematic. So I don't know if it's that or if it's the mintiness that's in here. I can't actually, actually I don't think it's mint. It looks like it has hydroxyhydrocinnamate. So I'm thinking maybe that's like some sort of a cinnamon derivative. It was something that was like hot and like a little spicy on my lips. So. Yeah, not a huge fan of this, unfortunately. I think I'll probably just stick to my Milani lip mask from now on. Um, so anyway, I got the Hot Fluff lipsticks. I haven't opened these up yet, but these look so beautiful. Um, and like I said, these are supposed to be three in one, so you can wear them on your eyes, cheeks, or lips. 
So the first shade that I got is called Cannoli. And honestly, looking at these on the Target website, they all looked like they were a little bit dark as far as the colors go. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'm not really a dark lipstick person. I usually like lighter colors for the most part, but um, oh yeah, this isn't super dark. That's a really pretty shade. It almost kind of screams fall to me a little bit more than, um, you know, spring, but I do really like this color and wow, that went on so smoothly and it feels like it's going to be a completely weightless texture. Very similar to the Flower Beauty Petal Pout lipsticks that I like so much. So that's awesome. And it has no stickiness to it either. So I can totally see why you could use these on your eyes as well and your cheeks. And then the other shade I got is Eclair. And that's what that one looks like. I was hoping this one might be a little bit more pink. Yeah, I think I like this color even better. That is like beautiful. It's the perfect kind of like your lips but better shade. So anyway, I'm really excited to test these out. All right, so next let's check out this PYT Beauty Palette. And it says, this is called Rowdy Rose Nude. And it says this clean eyeshadow palette has 12 pigmented day to night shades that glide easily onto the skin without messy fallout. That sounds really good. Formulated with these skin nourishing ingredients, jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. And also it says that this is recyclable. It says that the component itself is made with recycled plastic. And then when you're done with it, it says to just pop the pans out through the holes in the back, wash them and toss the empty pans, eyeshadow palette and the box into recycling bins and pat yourself on the back for being a sustainable rock star. So very cool. All right, so let's take a quick look at the colors up close. So yeah, I just felt like this kind of reminded me of the Huda Beauty Naughty Nudes palette a little bit. So let's just take a quick look at these side by side. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it definitely has the same vibes going on. So um, I don't have time, unfortunately, right now to do a full comparison, but if that's something that you would like to see down the road, definitely let me know because this palette, the Huda palette is like $65 or $68. This one was $20, so definitely it's a better deal. All right, so I think I'll just do a couple of live swatches on my hand first, and then I'll do the full swatches of the palette just on my arm so you can see all the colors. So I just wanna see kind of what they swatch like first. So here's one of the shimmers. And then there's a matte. It has a tiny bit of fallout, but definitely not a lot. The shimmer shade had no fallout. This one had a little bit. I really wanna see what this purple shade looks like. And maybe we'll just do like this dusty pink. And that is really, really smooth. And there's that one. So yeah, I think these are swatching really nicely. I mean, it's definitely not a powdery palette. I don't really see like any kick up going on, but yet the shadows seem pretty easy to pick up with a finger as well. I feel like the shimmer shades are very, very tightly packed. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the rest of this palette and I'll be right back. All right, and then here's swatches of the whole palette, and I think this swatched really nicely, and the colors are beautiful. It definitely reminds me of the Naughty Nude palette quite a bit, which is one of my favorite palettes, so I'm excited that this could be a potential dupe. So if it does work out to be a dupe, I will definitely let you guys know, but yeah, I am loving this one. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just got the Sigma Corda Rosa blush palette in the mail and I am so excited for this one because I love Sigma's other blush palette, but I feel like the shades of this one look even prettier than that one. So let's go ahead and open this up and we will definitely do some swatches. All right, so here's a look at the outside packaging. It looks just like the box and then you have the shades on the back. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. This is so stunning. It looks like you have two kind of more shimmery blush shades and then four mattes. This is the Corda Rosa shade with the rose in the middle, just like in the eyeshadow palette. And these colors, oh my gosh, I can't wait to swatch this. So let's go ahead and just do that. All right, so first up we have Bronze Star and this is one of the shimmery ones. Next we have Corda Rosa. Next up is Senorita. Next up is Nearly Wild. 
and then pashmina. These are so silky and creamy. And then last but not least is Coral Dawn. So what do you guys think? I love all of the colors in this palette. I think it's going to be so beautiful. I love that they included shimmers in this one too. I love how it has pinks and peaches and bronzy shades. It's really just like the perfect ultimate blush palette. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I just got my Walmart order in the mail and I picked up the new Perfusion Love You So Brunch palette. I thought this looked so cute and I haven't gotten anything from Profusion in quite a while now. I was a little disappointed with the last couple of palettes that I got. I want to say it was like over a year ago now, but I just thought this looked beautiful. It's actually a Walmart exclusive and it was on the one day free shipping, which was awesome as well. And how beautiful is this palette? I love all of these little shades that have like the waffle design, super adorable. And also part of this collection is the Whipped Glow Mousse Highlighter. And I just thought this looked really pretty as well. I got the pink one, but they also have a gold one too. And this one's been out for a while, um, but I haven't tried it yet. And it's their Feel Good Skin Longwear Skin Perfector with Hyaluronic Acid. It says it has medium to full coverage and a natural satin finish, which I love. So lots of stuff to check out. Oh, I forgot about this one. This is um, the Heritage Argan Oil. So back around the holidays, I did a sponsored video with Walmart and they let me choose whatever I wanted. And I picked some of this new Heritage line, which I really liked. Actually, their parent company is Mesa which also owns Flower Beauty and Believe Beauty so I just really like the line everything was super affordable and I've been using this pretty much exclusively on my hair so I just figured I would test out their argan oil so that's what that one is but anyway let's go ahead and swatch some of this stuff I am super excited um, so let's just swatch the foundation really quick first and I got mine in the shade medium one I really wasn't sure what to get I feel like this is gonna be too dark for me yeah, but at least I just want to see what it's like and if I do end up liking the formula then I can always go for a different shade, but this might be okay in the summertime just when I have a little bit more color going on anyway. All right, so this, wow, it's definitely way more full coverage than I was expecting it to be. I mean, I guess the tube did say medium to full coverage, but anyway, this, wow, it actually is looking really nice and smooth. And my hands are really dry, so I feel like this is going to look nice on my face. I don't know if you guys have tried this one, but if you have, I would love to know your thoughts on it. I know I saw Allie Glines tested a while ago, but I haven't seen really too many reviews on it, so I figured I would check it out. And also, let's check out this Whipped Glow Mousse Highlighter. It's kind of giving me ColourPop vibes a little bit. Um, it says, get the ultimate brunch glow with this long-wearing Whipped Glow Highlighter. All right, so here's a look at the packaging. It's definitely not as deep as the ColourPop highlighters, but from the top, it kind of looks like them. And let's see. Oh, it has pretty much the exact same feel, though, as the ColourPop Super Shock Cheeks. Wow, look at that. It's like a really nice moussey texture. Ooh, look at how beautiful that is. That is really, really nice and shiny. Let me just uh, maybe try to like spread it out a little bit and see what it looks like with a little bit of a lighter <laughs> coat because I'm definitely not going to put it on my cheeks like that. I mean, there's little micro glitters in it, but it just looks really pretty and shiny. That is gorgeous. I wonder if you could even wear this on your eyes as well, because I think this would be a stunning eyeshadow. Let's see. No, I mean, it doesn't say not to wear it on your eyes. It just says discontinue use if signs of rash or irritation appear, which I feel like all cosmetics say. So yeah, I think that is really, really pretty. All right, so now let's go ahead and swatch the brunch palette. And I'm going to do a few live swatches, and then I'll just swatch the whole thing out on my arm, and you can see what it looks like. So it appears that probably this one and maybe this one are pressed glitters, but it's hard to say. Let's see. Yeah, this one's definitely a pressed glitter. What about this one? Yeah, so these are both pressed glitters, so I'll swatch those really quick. And the rest of them look like just regular shimmer shades. So let's swatch a couple of those first. This one looks beautiful. And let's try this one. Hmm. 
and that's gorgeous. And these feel nice and creamy and buttery. And let's see, I'll just do like one more shimmer shade and then we'll do some of the mattes. All right, so here's like this bright pink and then we have a blue matte. So I mean, all right, I'm just gonna do a couple more matte shades. Sorry if you guys can hear my son and my husband downstairs. They're like being really silly and super loud. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. I mean, that one. So anyway, it's swatching pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it all out on my arm, and then we'll take a quick look at it all together. All right, guys, so here is the entire brunch palette all swatched out. And I mean, I think for the most part, everything swatched really well. Some of the shades I did have to build up just a little bit, um, but I think a lot of them were really, really pigmented. So I feel like it's kind of a little bit hit and miss, which is what I normally see with Profusion. But honestly, for the price, I think it's really good quality. And I think that the color story is just beautiful. You have a lot of neutrals in here, especially along the top row, but then you also have some bright colors to work with as well. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of this palette down in the comments below. Hey guys, it's Friday. I just got my order from Doll 10 and I picked up their new Doll Skin Genius Tinted Serum Primer and also I got the best deal on their Hydrogel Cream Blushes. I've talked about these on my channel before and I actually have two shades. I have Popstar Peach and Kiss on the Chic which are also in this kit but mine I've had now for probably like a year and a half, almost two years and they're starting to kind of dry out a little bit because they are cream blushes and they regularly retain for $16 each. This entire kit with all eight blushes was $29. It's on sale. It was like $157 or something like that. So it's basically an amazing steal on their website right now. Plus, I have a code with Doll10. You can save an extra 15% with GenDoll15. So I'll leave everything linked down below in case you want to check these out. But these are some of my absolute favorite cream blushes. I know I talk about the Milani ones all the time at the drugstore because they're so affordable. And these these are, I think, even a little bit better of a formula than the Milani ones, as much as I love those. These just are completely weightless on your cheeks, and they dry to a powder finish just like the Milani ones do, but they just have the most amazing texture. These are so, so good. So I'm going to swatch all of these for you guys, and you can see all of the shades, and I would definitely take advantage of this because I doubt this is coming back as far as a deal. Probably once they sell out, that's going to be it, but as of today, it's still around on their website so hopefully by Sunday when you're watching this it's still there so anyway let me just show you and these also come in the most gorgeous colors so the first one is stepping out and I know you guys aren't going to be able to tell what the texture is like on camera, but they just feel completely weightless if you've tried the Milani ones I feel like they're very similar to those but um, but I think these are even more lightweight they just feel like nothing going on your cheeks they're so beautiful and then the next shade is Pop Star Peach. I already do have this one and I love it. It's such a pretty peach. So here's what that one looks like. And by the way, with this kit, these work out to like $3 and change a piece, which is like insane. It's even cheaper than the Milani ones at the drugstore. Next we have Kiss on the Chic, and this one is again one of my favorites. I have this one already, and it is such a beautiful nude, especially if you have like fair to light skin tone. It's gorgeous. Like how pretty is that? Next up we have Doll Goals. This is another new one for me. So this one I think so far is the deepest color. The next one is You're Making Me Blush. This one looks like almost like a peachy bronze. And this one actually seems to have a little bit of sheen to it. I was just saying in a recent video that the Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush Lights have a little bit of shimmer, some of them, and it's kind of a rare thing to find a cream blush that's shimmery. So that is really pretty. Next we have She's a Doll. This is gorgeous as well. Next we have Vegas Nights. Ooh, this one looks so cool toned. It almost looks a little bit purple, which is so cool. Ooh, I love that one as well. I mean, you have almost like every color you would ever need as far as blush right in this kit. And then the last one is Doll Squad. And this one looks a little bit more warm and peachy as well. 
feel like I'm getting kind of far down on my arm. I'm just going to put it up here. All right, so let me just walk around the other side of the table. You can get a good look at all the shades. And this is just, it's stunning. I know like I need more cream blushes, like a hole in the head, but I couldn't pass this up because this is one of my favorite formulas. And now being able to test out all the shades for such a good price is just awesome. All right, so next let's check out the Doll Skin Genius Tinted Serum Primer. And by the way, I just wanted to let you know, I just went to wash these blushes off and I scrubbed and scrubbed at my arm with a ton of soap and they're still there. So I forgot to mention that these are incredibly long lasting as well. So that is a good thing. I know not for my arm right now, but it's a good thing because they're very long lasting when you actually wear them on your face. So anyway, let's take a look at the new Doll Skin Genius Tinted Serum Primer. They just came out with this really recently. And it says that this has a texture unlike any other and extends the wear of makeup while also concealing redness and minimizing the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles for a perfect complexion that lasts. It's a power packed multitasker that has everything you need in just one step and recharges your skin just by wearing it. The smart formula is powered by actives that include oat B glucan, a natural occurring plant-based biological repairing active that improves issues associated with sensitive skin like dryness, redness, and itchiness, and Genofix Day, a proprietary ingredient that powers up cellular repair thanks to its light activated enzymes. So it just says to apply it after your moisturizer and you can either wear it alone for lightweight coverage or put your foundation on top of it. So here is some of the key ingredients that it has in it, and then also the full ingredient list right here. And then here's a look at the bottle. It feels really heavy. I think this is actually a glass bottle. Really, really nice. And I got mine in the shade number two. I didn't wanna go with the lightest, lightest shade, so hopefully this one is okay for me. All right, so it looks like it has kind of a moussey texture. I actually like that because I think it's really going to hide like pores and fine lines. It seems like more of a smoothing type of primer, which is really nice. And actually the coverage on it is very impressive. It feels soft. So, I mean, here's like a look at both of my hands. I think it really canceled out most of the redness and I would probably wear this just on its own, to be honest with you, like most days, unless I needed a little bit more coverage. But um, yeah, most of the time, I think I'd probably just wear this. And like I said, it just kind of makes my skin look and feel quite a bit smoother. It doesn't seem to be settling into fine lines. It doesn't look dry. So I am very excited to test this one out. Again, I do have a coupon code for 15% off at Doll10. So I'll leave that down in the description box below. But um, this is not sponsored. They didn't send this to me. I bought all of this myself. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. So anyway, I'd love to hear if you guys plan on ordering this or the blush kit as well.